and I'm going to take inspiration from my contemporaries and choose Surf and School Bus. I gotta say, I still do to this day, 21 year old, almost fully college educated adult, don't, I don't know what a caldera is. What the heck is that? Is that like a northern thing? Okay, so here's the problem with surf and school bus. It is slow as crap. Which means I couldn't even make that jump to get the armor repair. Maybe I can with uh, turbo though. Alright, with turbo I just barely made it. <laughs> but that's all we need. So I think here's going to be my strategy. I'm going to drive along here, reload my weapons, and then whenever I'm done with that, I'm going to come down here and be like, Hey oh, hey oh, hey oh, you're going to die yo. Oh. And then just, just start spamming Magnemite as usual. I'm so creative. Wow, Muscle Tone is like, not taking this well. I mean, it is rather tough news. I understand that you could be upset by it. The news that you're a pathetic weakling who is easily bested by like less than 10 magnet mites to the face. While Surf and School Bus is a beast which can literally take so much punishment. <laughs> I'm, sp I'm spinning around. I don't know what's going on, but okay, here we go. Should be able to finish off this Jaded here. Jade, it's also not a very strong car, armor-wise. It's it has good speed. All right, come on. Can we just like? Can you just like die already? You have. What was it? What? I don't remember what it was. That one dude in Tro Q said that was like unnecessarily disturbing. All right, let's take let's test this. Are you gonna shoot me with that? Let's test this. I want to see if you know how to use that. You're not even gonna use it, you fool. You deserve every bad thing that happens to you in life. Wait, wait, wait! I see a easily picked. Yep, there you go. It's just like the Hunger Games. You just gotta get what you can get. There you go, fellas. I just compared Hot Wheels Velocity X to the Hunger Games. Here, funny story that I don't think I've ever told on camera. If I, di if I did, it's been a long time. I actually, like, after I read the Hunger Games, I was basically... A like already preparing to like do a let's play of the Hunger Games video game that I thought was coming out. It never actually, there was never actually any such thing. Because our, that was around the time which uh, companies stopped ma making licensed games for literally everything. Like around like the early 2010s when that started to get out of style. Alright, come on, come on. Hammered Coop's a little bit tougher. Alright, there you go. This one shouldn't take nearly as long to uh, suck up the nut suck up. That's the that's not a good way to word, word that. To uh wrap up, I guess I should say, than the others. Ah oh, gosh dang it, I missed. Alright, I, I would like to get that. Even though I'm surfing school bus, so I don't... You could very well argue that I don't actually need it, and I could just tank. Why? What is going on here? Challenge conditions. When... Okay, it seems to be easier to make from that specific angle for some weird reason. Alright, come on. Alright, so I just got a very easy 2 and 1 there, because they were already fighting each other. 
Oh no! I heard someone use the Quantum Annihilator! How could this happen? Alright, so they do use it, just very sparingly. I go into the abyss. That sounds like the title of a Emily Dickinson poem. Off I go into the abyss as I... Uh, but I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a second line. Someone help me out here. Often I... Here, here we go. Off I go into the abyss. I will soon feel the warmth of death's kiss. Alright, uh, let's just, uh, forget that ever happened. Oh my goodness! There we go! There we go! That's what I needed. That's what, that's the instigator of this conflict. There it goes. Quantum Annihilator was used point blank on me. One hit killed, even though I was surfing school bus. I think I was slightly weakened, but still. That's it. That's, it's time for me to get angry. Now, where is the Quantum Annihilator here, anyway? Uh, evidently not- oh. Here, uh... Okay, I- I- no, I'm using this now. Now that I finally have a- have the, like, cause to use it, I'm gonna do it. I've been waiting for this all video. Alright, come on. Just get the stupid armor repair. Okay, you know what? I don't need the armor repair. I where's the quantum annihilator? Soon I'll carve away my own future. There it is. There it is. Mine, mine. <laughs> oh my goodness. That destroyed those like bot. Did you see that? It destroyed those, like, THQ boxes. I didn't think those could be destroyed. It, it, but this one can do it. Holy cow, folks. I've just discovered something new. I'm so happy. Alright, there we go. That's two out of three. Alright, so let's try and make a go for the armor repair. Don't you don't you dare steal this from me. Oh that time I actually made the jump and I got the magnemite. That was very nice. That little bit of a running start really helped. See a competent player can use the Quantum Annihilator to wrap, mop up the battle extremely quickly, which is why uh, I'm not letting myself use it. <laughs> like it basically, if you if it was a match between two human players, it'd just be who can get to the Quantum Annihilator first. Whoever does wins. Like that'd be all the depth to it. I mean, I guess it does help that it's hard to aim. It doesn't have that much like ammo. So maybe that is, those are some limiting factors. But it would be extremely lopsided towards, like I could see people like in an online version of this game that doesn't exist, but hypothetically could exist, just like camping where the Quantum Annihilator is to prevent everyone else from getting it. All right, shoot me, shoot me. I wanna be able to use it on you guys, shoot me. What are you even trying to do here? Alright, come on, shoot me with the Quantum Annihilator. Shoot me point blank, please. He, it didn't do it. They didn't do it. What in the heck? Alright, so that's 4 out of 5. I probably should get some refills. Let's go. Oh! How rude. How rude indeed.
I like the little noises that the uh, weapons make. Just one of those nice details about this game. Just sitting back, enjoying life. DIE! Alright. So that was Combustion Caldera. Give me just one second. Alright, so next is Sewer Pipe Arena. We have four more of these. And then my extra little secret video. So Sewer Pipe Arena, I'm going to be playing with another risky choice, Solar CX4. I really like how this car looks, and I feel like I like never use it. Because by the time you get to this point in the game, you already have Power Rocket, you have Vulture, you have uh, Crazy 8s, maybe. You have Prototype 12, you have Jet Threat in the Ragnarok. You have cars which can basically do the exact same thing as this thing better. So I just, I feel like I just never use it. And it's a shame, because it's a really cool design. All right, so let's go scouting for weapons here. Harbinger of the Apocalypse. Atom Blaster. Uh, the real Harbinger of the Apocalypse, who I'm gonna pass up for now. This game is so, like, not balanced. It's amazing. Even if you have the Super Cannon disabled, which you should. Oh, okay, so here's the... Power armor. Power armor? Is this Metroid? Alright, so we have some people fighting it out over here. Maybe I can get a quick finish here. Who is it? Hypermite? Very weak. That's good. Uh, and P Power Piston is also very weak. Let's see if we can get a good shot on. And, but we also have, what is that, Diora 2? Yeah, that's Diora 2. Uh, that's not so good for me, because Diora 2 is actually pretty tough. There's like, it's kind of funny, there's like literally like three cars in this game which are good in battle mode. And Diora 2 is unfortunately one of them. Why do you think I, like, complacently only use like, Hyperliners who are all story mode. Because it's one of the three along with Surfin and Dior 2. The other two which you need to do Joyride to unlock. Which actually kind of makes them like more broken <laughs> in a way. Alright, finish off Power Pistons, get an easy 3-in-1. I guess that wasn't super easy. Where are you? There you are. Alright, so let's heal up from that conflict. Reload a little bit. And I'll- oh! Magnemite, there you go. This is what I was missing this whole time. Oh, where have you been all my life? Um, okay, so there's the shield. I might want to nab that because this is like a base 30 armor car. Although I seem to be doing pretty well so far, mostly because of my competition. And just getting to like cheese stuff, like I always do. See, that's what I mean when I say the game's imbalanced. There's some weapons are just so easy to just spam. Magnemite's probably the biggest one of those. Because at least with Laser Cannon, while it's stronger than Magnemite, you do have to at least aim it. So that balances that one a little bit. Atom Blaster, is also you also have to aim. Magnemite is a homing attack, and it's way too strong to be that. <laughs> like, usually the... 
Like, there are attacks that are weaker, like... Like, okay. The one that he, you, you have, Super Zapper. That one also homes, but it's weak. It's not super weak, it's decent. But it's not super strong either. It's not at the same level as Magnemite. And then most of the other, like, attacks, which attack a wide audience, like, audience, that's such a weird way to put it, a lot of, which can attack a huge range, like, uh, Sonic Boom, like your Oil Drum and Freon Bombs. Sonic Boom's probably the best of them for battles, because they can do, like, some damage, but it's still fairly weak. So the spammability is, uh, sort of curtailed that way. I feel like I've been using the term curtailed a lot recently. But, uh... Magnemite just has no flaws. I guess it could be stronger. But it's so easily spammable, it's homing... It's just... it's... It probably is, honestly, the best weapon in the game. Once you... if you take everything into account, like... Like, yeah, like, Doom Discs or Laser Cannon may be stronger, but... They're just, but they're harder to aim, especially Doom Discs. Okay, you don't even have any weapons. I don't know what you're, you thought you were going to accomplish there. Let me go grab uh, Armor Repair. You could, like, make an argument that Armor Repair is also broken. Okay, so let me, there's another Magnemite up there, but it's kind of hard to get to. So, there's another one that's easier to get, so whatever. I'll just, uh, t hedge my bets. Oh, look at this! All three of the other opponents gathered together. I wonder what could possibly happen. This makes me feel such like a maniacal, like, murderer, just doing this. Like, look at that! <laughs> Look at how much damage I'm doing just by sitting here and pressing the X button over and over again. Well, that was a very short match, so I'm going to try and repeat that story. That was also very lucky for me that they all clumped together. Honestly, you think they do that more often, given that the object of the game is to disable people? But, whatever. Alright, so let me just grab one of these. And we're good to go. Wow, look at that. They did the exact same thing again. Let's see if it turns out any differently this time. Alright. Well, that dude just got... Quantum Annihilated. Oof. So they do use it, they just do it, use it very infrequently, and they don't really have to do, to use it very infrequently. I at least got Power Pistons, like, in a very roundabout, ma weird manner, but I still got him. Ugh. Alright, so this isn't going... Okay, here we go. More mag... What on earth did you just do? Alright, alright. Since you're such a hyper... Little hyper mite, how about you get some of uh, my uh, goodies? That sounded very wrong out of context. It does indeed have to hurt if your car explodes around you. Like, how are these... Dr these drivers are dead. We're killing people. No, I'm sorry. We're disabling them. No, no, no. That's the... That's the PC term. Ha! Ha! Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Okay. Thankfully, you're such a slow mf'er. I, I really shouldn't say stuff like that when I'm playing an E-rated game. 
that you were not able to seize your chance. And now you die. <laughs> oh, that Hypermite just pulled like a Churro Q physics on me. That was amazing. This guy, this guy just goes flying so far. Alright, uh, come on. I don't want someone else to pick him off, so... Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I just really like yelling sometimes. I'm a YouTuber, I gotta do it every now and then. Alright, come on. Don't, I like how I've seen that Diora 2 clearly has armor repair and they are not using it. What an idiot. Alright, so that is Underworld Arena. Or actually, no, it's Sewer Pipe Arena. Underworld Arena is somewhere else. Alright, Crankshaft Docks. For this one, I'll be using Hammered Coop, and you'll recognize this as where you have to fight pre-fast lane. Although, notice, you notice the sky looks a little bit different than usual, which is nice. It's a nice little touch. In some of these later courses, I like how they just uh, added that extra little bit of detail in. And I see a Magnemite and I'm immediately going to get it because I have no originality. Alright, there you go. Oh, oh, hold on. Can't, can't use that now. That'll make the match way too easy. <laughs> he says as he spams Hyper... not Hypermite. Magnemite. One of those things. Uh-oh, it's a Velocity X. Thankfully, Velocity X has crappy armor, so it actually isn't that big of a deal. Power Rocket has pretty good armor, though, so I don't like this guy's just getting all up in my business. Come on, stop that! Stop! I don't have- uh-oh, I don't have a healer. Oh! That's it. That's it. All right, Adam Blaster. Uh, okay, so Doom Disc's up there. I I need I need a healer. My car is not strong enough to f take the full brunt of attacks here. There it is. There goes Vol there goes Auto. Hi, Otto. I'm just gonna call you Otto. Even though it's kind of confusing because there's also a Otto and Chora Q, but whatever. Alright, Shadow Jet, you aren't worth anything. You have a net worth of zero dollars. No! Stop that! No! All right, fine, fine. You want to play that game? I'll play it with you. For, for first, I should go finish off you before someone else does. There you go, got it. You just get some ammo back. More Atom Blaster shenanigans. If I want to compete, I need to get some more ammo for this though. Ooh, a plus 800. You don't see those too often. Alright. <laughs> Welcome to the new age, to the new age. Welcome to the new age, to the new age. Oh, 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 oh. It's Adam Blaster, it's Adam Blaster. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. It's that up. This video has been taken down for violating YouTube's copyright policies.
I mean, why not? Uh, I don't know if you guys heard, but Disney took down a fan-made Star Wars film with entirely new, like, music that the person themselves create for copyright infringement, which is just honestly kind of evil. Like, you put all that effort into the movie, or into the... Uh, into, like, your fan project. You do everything originally. You don't infringe... You follow the copyright rules, and Disney still takes it down because companies don't, like, have... Like, at least, like, the big ones don't have any morality. Or, like, they don't give a crap about anything. Like, what... How does that even benefit Disney to do? Like, oh, we were about to make Vader a Star Wars story. If people... If this exists, people won't want to see that. Like, really? I don't know if that's actually the reason. That's just me making stuff up out of thin air. So don't quote me on that. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of uh, Disney's recent practices in a lot of different ways. The only branch of them which I'm still like totally hooked on is Marvel. The rest I've mostly become disillusioned with. I'm still kind of interested in Pixar, but even them I have like problems with. They're kind of going down the same route as the uh, Walt Disney Pictures. Making a lot of sequels, just kind of making very, I guess, safe, safer and blander stories. Anyway, I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't be complaining about this, because I might be talking out of my butt. I need to, like, formulate... Because there's also a lot of modern, even modern Disney movies I love. Mainly Rick and Ralph and Zootopia. I think both of those are amazing. Uh, I think that most of them aren't e really bad, either. I do just say I don't really agree with the approach of bringing back the Disney princess model. I think that's pretty much just a marketing hack tool. Like, I don't know, man. No, I did not mean to... Okay, whatever. I'll give myself that one. But that was kind of an accident. Who cares? Who's enforcing these rules? Screw the rules. I'm Excess Master X. I think I said something exactly like that in one of my videos before, and it just kind of shows how narcissistic, narcissistic I am. I like how that didn't even hit close to Shadow Jet, and I, it took it out. That's quality right there. Quality what? I'm not sure. Quality insurance companies. <laughs> I, don't ask me what that has to do with anything. I just said the first words that came into my brain. Whoa! whoa! Alright, so now let me go get my uh, armor repair, and I'll be all set to take down some fools. I shall, I shall also grab this, because this is quite handy. Complacent Gaming Syndrome. That's why I should title this video, honestly. You guys gotta hold me to that. If I don't title it that, then like... Run over my house with a truck. Alright. Uh, you're going down, Otto. You don't stand a chance. He, in fact, did not stand a chance. Uh, you're not really doing anything, so I'm going to ignore you. And you guys get the special treatment. Whoa! I'm never going to stop being shocked by that. No, 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 please. 
All right, let's see if I can get another cheap one off of a power rocket. All right. I mean, uh, Velocity X. Prototype, whatever you want to call it. There we go. Uh, I don't have any weapons. See you later. Bye. Yeah, that's basically what I was trying to complain about. I said something like really vague about like Disney's operations, but really I just meant like the Disney princess thing. It's kind of and, like recently they've gotten more and more like I guess meta about it, and it's kind of like getting on my nerves. Like, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Just do something different. Like, okay, whatever. I don't hate Disney or anything, I just, they're, I just, I don't like some of the company policies that are happening right now. That's all, that's the point of the story. That was the Disney rant. I should start, I should turn my channel into like a Leafy is here style channel. Well, I just, I keep doing Let's Plays, but I just start like complaining about completely random stuff. Alright, so Mega Duty is going on in this one. Pretty good car for battles. Yo, what's up guys? X is Master X here, and today we're going to talk about uh, the 2020 Democratic primaries. My favorite candidate is... Just get shot. Okay, so I saw someone up there, and I think I also saw the quant... Whoa! The quant oh no, it's Hyperliner. That's not what I wanted to see. I think I also saw the Quantum Annihilator up there, so I don't really like what uh, the implications. Yep. No, wait. No. What's that? Where's that? No, those are Doom Discs. Okay, that's not bad. If I have a hard time aiming those, I'm pretty sure the AI will too. Right, so there's the Quantum Annihilator. It's in a very easy to access location. There's two of them! Well, at least now I know where to go if I want to just instantly cheese the fight. Alright, there's... I saw my, uh... My boy here. My boy. This piece is for all true warriors strive for. <laughs> Alright, so I see they've all congregated down here. That's nice. This is definitely the... Pro this is probably like the lion's den here. Where most of the fighting takes place. Alright, uh... Hyperliner, you're going down. Ouch. Oh my goodness. Hyperliner is not going down without a fight. So if we can keep the battle confined here, it will help a lot with uh, getting these done in a timely manner. Oh, I never actually got the armor repair. That's a problem. Alright, let me see if I can just kind of be a coward then. Get at least one more before I die? Okay, cool. And there's some nice, convenient refill stunt points here, too. I think I just got- I think I have my whole strategy for this figured out. Okay, so here's Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. So, strategy part one, get Magnet Might. Part two, uh, victory. No, uh... <laughs> Go up here. Uh, get the armor repair if you can. Alright, there you go. Now, since I'm still able to stay up here, let me see if I can get that shield as well. Because once again, very... One that I, This is a power-up which I very much... It's not technically a weapon, so I call it a power-up. 
which I very much underestimated for the longest time. Oh, you guys aren't down here? Come on. Oh, one of you is. Boom! Alright, rinse and repeat. Oh, it's right to the left of where I spawned, too. Nice. Whoa! You want to go, pretty boy? Uh, I don't... You know, I really don't have any, uh, like... No, no, oh, I was trying to kill steal you. I don't have any, like, it, it, it's, it, okay, no, let me, let me rephrase that. It's extremely hypocritical for me to be calling people pretty boy as an insult. So, I don't know, that's what, the, that's where the irony is. I, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> It's but an image she's about to die. And you are no dead dead fast and you are garbage. I just like to make fun of fast lane because it's not because she's a woman, it's because she's a really sucks at racing and battling too. Evidently I can't really make this go along the song. So I'm just gonna make it something else. I don't know what this is. Okay, come on. Let's see if we can get hyperliner out of the way. Oh, what the, what the, oh, what the? This is utter chaos. I like this. I don't have, I don't have my armor repair though. So come on, just finish off someone. And then I'll die and I'll be happy. Fine. Well, I literally have nothing but Magnemite. Might as well just stick with it. Hi. Bye. Exit the land of the living. It's my turn now. Let's see if I can finish you off with this. Ha! I did it! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, this is fun. I'm enjoying myself. Alright, Adam Blaster. Uh, let's see here. What do we got here? Two very weak armor opponents right behind me. Let's... No, don't nudge me. Uh, okay, that wasn't... That didn't quite work the way I hoped. Let's come up here. Yeah, the B button really is, it's more of a drift than an actual break, because it actually doesn't do a great job of braking. And it drifts so well that even if you don't hold a direction, it'll do that, what I just showed off. Although, Hyperliner's kind of like interrupting my style here. Thank you, Interrupter Jones. Okay, like this. You see, it just kind of like swoops aside. That's just for me holding the B button, not pressing the control stick at all. <laughs> I will send you to your electric doom. How did I not kill that guy? Come on. Nisa, you're tearing me apart. That was a very irrelevant comment, but you're probably used to those. Whoa! Yo there, go there. I don't know what I'm saying. Take the full front of a uh, atom bomb. I mean, atom bomb. <laughs> atom blaster. Atom bomb. That's basically what the quantum annihilator is. Like no joke. True story. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There I go. All right, let's get some more of this good stuff. Yippee, that's it. That's it right there. That good stuff. That good old Magnemite. No, it's Hyperliner again. I'd rather not face you in battle because I'm a coward. All right, here we go. Destiny. Oh, Hyperliner is coming back for more. 
Ooh, it looks like it came back for more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you feel time slipping down your spine? Ooh, I try to try to ignore. Yeah, yeah. But you can hardly swallow your fears and pain. If you can help or follow, it puts you right back where you came. Live and learn, hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Live and learn from the works of yesterday. I don't even know why I'm still singing. Last one, Underworld Arena. It's time to bring up my boy Power Rocket. All right, let's do a let's do all my usual scouting of the level. Uh. I do like how the music is a little bit more epic in this one. Is that like the same music that plays when you fight Otto? That'd be that'd be a nice touch. It'd be a nice place to go to hear that. I don't think it is quite the same, but it is similar. It's hard to tell. The game the music in this game is fairly minimalistic. Aha, uh -huh. it is uh, MST Suzuka. And two very like weak early game cars that I just finished off no problem. Uh, no, no. Okay, there you go. Okay, I'm very glad that I had my shield going at that exact second, because otherwise I would have taken a lot of damage from that, even though it kind of went over my head. Oh, you know what? Maybe the reason they're not using the Super Cannon or the Quantum Annihilator is because they're running out of ammo for it quickly. Like, the same deal is with the shield. That would explain a lot. That's a, that's a good running theory for that. But that just makes it more unpredictable as to when they're actually going to do it. Alright, so this is going to be kind of a blowout for the final battle. But luckily I do have some extra special content to help fill it out a little bit more. Extra special. It's not that special, but... It's something which I attempted to use in like bonus content from my original Let's Play and never actually succeeded in doing. So yeah, adding in the Quantum Annihilator has not been as much fun as I like imagined. Mainly because I was imagining it would be like being used on me left and right. And it's only been used on me like once, maybe twice. I haven't been keeping score. Oh goodness. Uh, I think the Sonic Boom actually disrupted like the homing tendency of the Magnemite. I don't know, maybe it, maybe I was just seeing things there. Maybe the game was just being weird. It does that a lot. <coughs> Hello. You look like an easy target. You look like a not terrible target. Uh, let me heal up real quick. Alright. This guy's an absolute maniac, so I'm going to put on my shield. Oh, I think that guy just died. Nope, he's still there. Alright, so... What the heck is that noise? 
I don't. Uh, is this game glitching on me? That that was kind of weird. All right, you know what? Since this is utterly like an insignificant in the greater scale of the universe, anyway, I'm just gonna use this. Like, cause they're not really putting up a fight even without it, so I'm I might as well have some fun. This, it's gonna be just like the auto fight, this exact same arena, using this on people. And you know, in medium and easy mode, uh, the quantum annihilator will take out auto in like two or three shots. It's kind of insane, just how much it cheeses the final boss of the game. There's a two and one. Oh, right in the. What right in the solar plexus? Well done, MST Suzuka. Well done. All right, let's do this. Let's get a three and one right here. Right here. Right. <laughs> I did it. And I think I cheesed it so hard that I actually managed to win two rounds at the same time. Well, there it is. That's Hot Wheels Lost EX. Very hard adventure mode and very hard uh, drag racing battles. Just one, there's one last enemy to face. And that is Nitro, the dirty misogynist. But to do this, I'm going to have to turn on some cheats. These are absolutely mandatory for getting this to work. Here, I'll go ahead and turn this off because this is kind of stupid. Alright, so... In the in some in a bonus video for my original let's play, which I released way after the fact, um, I'm gonna okay. First of all, I'm gonna shelve that. I'm gonna use Surf Crate because for the point in the game, once you get it, it's like one of the most useless cards ever. Like it has fairly good grip, but usually you're I'm pretty much just looking at armor and speed as far as usefulness. Like the others are nice to have. But armor and speed are the main, like, are the main uh, deciding factors in what cards I use. But yeah, going back, going on. Uh, I tried to do this and I wasn't quite able to succeed. I don't know, I don't remember if I was using cheats or not. But with cheats, that's pretty much the only way you can pull it off because it's kind of ridiculous otherwise. And I'll be explaining it as I get to it. So, right now we don't need to worry about this, we just do the mission normally. The timer speed cheat and the, uh, and the uh, unlimited ammo cheat are the ones that are absolutely pretty much necessary. You might be able to get away with uh, just the timer speed cheat, but it'd be kind of annoying to pull off. And you most likely could do this without the unlimited health, but I don't want to have to take too many tries at this because I kept on dying. So, unlimited health it is. Alright, so this guy gets the briefcase. We're going to grab the money and run one last time, folks. This is truly a nostalgic day. Alright, uh, that's the thing to be worried about with Magnemite, is it could, uh, lead to cones being knocked over that you don't want to get knocked over. Come on, get back here. I usually don't have this much trouble with this part. Thankfully, the slowed down timer sheet is coming in real strong for me. Alright, here we go.
And now we get into the racist nitro. First round, you don't do anything special, just try and win if you can. It's a lot easier if you win the first round. So, uh, how are you guys doing today? Doing good? That's good. Wee -hoo -hoo -hoo. I don't know if the AI is going to give me enough time to mess around with this train, so I won't bother. It's quite fun to mess around with, though. Alright, so first match down. And this is where things get interesting. And it's also where things are going to get safe state ing. Two, one, go. Because it, I'm going to be using safe states for this particular part. Because it's very repetitive if you don't. And I don't want. Especially since you'd have to pretty much do the entire mission up to this point again. So. I'm going to go ahead and save one here. And then, so you might have figured out what I'm trying to do right now if you know a lot about this game. But for those of you who don't, we're going to do that clearly. That's what I was trying to do. You see what I'm? You see what's happening here? You see what's go, what I'm hinting at? And I did do this off screen, so I know it's possible. It's just, it's very hard to make this uh, jump here to get the weapon. Alright, but I actually managed to get it on the third try, so that's pretty good. Alright, so now what I like to do is wait for Nitro to come around and fire at will. But that's right, we're going to kill Nitro in the middle of his own race. Something I never managed to accomplish in the old series, although I did show how to do it and I told set the theory behind it, I never succeeded. Well now I'm gonna succeed. I'm not going to suck seed. Nobody will be sucking seed. This is where unlimited ammo comes in really handy. Because otherwise you have to make a bunch of stunts to get your ammo back basically. That's basically the only way to do it. And Nitro might be quick enough and slip away from you and not let you do that. In fact, he most likely will be. Yeah, there he goes. And in the last try time I tried this, I had to go into round three. Because the health and the power-up does get carried over between racing rounds, thankfully. That makes this a lot easier and a lot more forgiving. But I might be able to get him in r right now in this one. So yeah, this is what you get for being uh, culture like racist against Southern people, Nitro. Goodbye. The world will not miss you. XX Master X does not advocate murder in real life. And that's it. That's the game, folks. Thanks for watching. But first, I want to just. While well, I was going through and doing the challenges again, by the way, I mean, I did manage to get four, challenge 14 on my first try. So I'm pretty happy about that, but also like it was on easy mode, so it isn't really that big of an accomplishment. The Honestly, on easy modes, the only ones that I had trouble with were the challenges which require you swerving to avoid barrels. Yes, exactly. That's what. You, that's how you do it, folks. Anyways, I did want to recap my sort of thoughts on this game as a whole, as I inevitably run out of time and have to redo it, <laughs> because I'm not very smart. Okay, um, I, and that is 
this game, I would never say that it's like a masterpiece per se, but this is pretty much the first video game I ever played. And it's extremely important to not just the development of my ch YouTube channel, but to my development as a gamer. And I d really realized that when I was uh, just reliving the joy of going through all the joy rides, just cruising through the levels, collecting things. And you know, this is... I do think that this is a good game for what it is. It, uh, You can tell that they put some effort into it. And... It is something which I think uh, fans of these types of games might get a kick out of. Although, of course, I mean, most of my connection to it is thanks to nostalgia. Alright, so now we race Nitro. Alright, um, so it's just, yesterday I had this weird experience where I was playing Breath of the Wild, the, the Zelda game, obviously, um, and I just, for some reason I just couldn't get into it, like, after I played it for a while, I realized that I hadn't really been playing video games a lot recently, I've just been so busy with other stuff. And I was having, and so I was having a much difficult time getting as immersed into the game as I used, as I kind of was able to for the longest time. This is a interesting insight as to, into the, how the AI in this game works, and like it kind of made me sad. It felt almost like a part of me had died, but, and I realized. Uh, that video games have been like n not an inconsequential part of my development like as a person which is it's weird to say that because I always it's always kind of given to me as like video games are not important part not an important part of your life but I think at this point they kind of are to the point I mean, if it's gotten to the point where I could feel such an immense amount of sadness from, and a, even like a sense of loss from, I guess, feelings that uh, I had sort of lost, gotten out of playing video, video games recently, then yeah, it is, it, must, it is important to my life, clearly. By the way, that was me making another safe state. Uh, yes, that's exactly what I want to do. And so going back here and just getting to 100% all over it again, the game which uh, started it all was, I don't know, I feel like it kind of, it kind of brought, not, not that, it kind of brought me back to why I love video games so much in the first place. This might not be the best car to do this with, <laughs> but I wanted to shine the spotlight on a on a underappreciated car, and I am look what I get in return. It's just uh oh well, I could have made this easier on myself had I saved it to a slot and not to file, but whatever. Come off it. So I did show this off in my old Let's Play This Game, but I don't think I ever actually killed Nitro, and that's what I want to do today, except it's apparently uh, putting up quite a fight. So I'm gonna, I'm not entirely sure what the best car, what kind of car, let me think about this. It, I might need something with better stunt, maybe? Okay, no, 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 I got it, I got it. Alright, cool. I just had to get more speed. Alright, now Nitro's probably gonna win now, but... Yeah. 
But now at least I know it's possible, so let's try that again. Anyway, so what I'm trying to say here is, even though uh, ultimately me 100%ing the game again didn't matter, because I'm not getting to use it for this, it did affect me emotionally. So I'm still glad I did it.